Hello and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name's Negative Roots and let's get cracking. Today we're in the Zisto main bus and we're talking about how to fix the main bus when it starts to show the signs of cracking. Now, I figured that I'd use Zisto's factory because it is the most ridiculous main bus you have ever seen. And this is partly also a follow-up to my fix it that I did on Zisto's factory and uh, the solution that I offered in in particular how I solved the red circuit problem. Now the solution that I offered was a late injection point so come down here and inject more um, red circuits later in the piece. Now some people think that that as a solution wasn't very good uh, and the idea was that you would expand this so, you know, add more factories here to get more production. So what I aim to do in this Factorio tutorial is to show how the solution that I came up with is a better one. And in Factorio Fix It, I've always tried to give the best solution I can. So let's come down here and I'll, I'll demonstrate it, hopefully. Now, what we have is a... Uh, a bit of a problem with our logistics spots by the looks of it. But this is going to simulate a a nice little main bus setup. So basically we have some producers that are limited in number and then we've got a whole bunch of consumers running off the main bus. Now this is scalable so just to make it easy on myself I've kept it as a yellow belt but it will this holds true for any speed so at some point you will hit this problem so you notice here that everything is getting enough uh, at the moment so all of the consumers are working at a good pace and there's no real issues now the main bus has this uh, really interesting uh, shall we say quirk that you can actually create bottlenecks in your own production just by consuming too much resources. So remember the rules with splitters is 50-50 so you can go with everything that comes in here 50% comes here and 50% comes down here. By the time we get to here it's you know one in every hundred. So you can see that suddenly production down the line or oh, sorry uh, the throughput down the line becomes less and less simply because I've added some bigger and faster um, consumers and that's all I'm doing here so I'm just making the problem worse now you've got two options okay so the solution offered by the commenters was that you would increase this you'd make this go faster my argument is there is a hard limit and that is blue belts once you hit a hard limit of blue belts here, you physically can't get any more through. And you're going to have the problem that, you know, it's only ever going to be one in, you know, 75, one in 50 items that comes along that actually gets to each passive provider. So whilst these are happy and running along at a, a great rate of knots, down the line everything else becomes starved. Now the solution that I offered was to reprioritize what's happening here. So instead of just upgrading this middle belt, offer a different solution. And it was effectively this. Shall just move that in a little bit. Okay. So we're going to add in the product simply before it gets to these big producers. What that means is it's going to reprioritize this main bus and it's going to allow more resources to flow downwards through the other consumers. Let me just increase this a little bit. Hopefully I can demonstrate it to nice effect. And we'll do the same thing here. Right, yeah. We'll move this in a little bit so everything's got power. So the difference here is not that I've changed the production so much, but trying to change the percentage of priority through here. So instead of these two now stopping everything, 
they're theoretically they're going to um, not have that so much of a, a so much of a big problem there. So if I copy and paste this across to these, oops. we're going to start to see these start to fill up. Now once they fill up they're going to stop using it which means that we get this backup effect. What this means is that now this is starting to back up it's going to force more um, resources down this direction. Okay? Yeah we're nearly there. And this is why this is a superior solution to just beefing up your production and then trying to jam it down the line. Certainly to a point uh, you would definitely uh, increase production, increase belt speed, do it that way. But logistics bots offer a way of solving a problem that does have a hard limit. You know, the solution of using blue belts increasing production will only work up to a point. Once you hit that point you know, game over, you need to find a new solution. You can see here that now these are starting to back up and we're starting to see more coal come down to these later producers. Indeed, we'll get to the stage where, you know, these will start to back up. Once each of these starts to back up, it reprioritizes the main bus, and this is the strength of the main bus. It reprioritizes those resources to then continue to flow down the line and find new uh, consumers that need that resource. So I hope that this has uh, explained my thinking on it and you know I am completely discounting the aesthetic point of view here. This is uh, from a problem solving efficiency point of view. This is the solution that is most effective and will work in all circumstances not just some. An example of where improving consumption or improving your production wouldn't help is when you have a massive, massive amount of lag. You know, adding in a blue belt and some more factories up here would only help up to a point. So the f solution here is much more robust. You can see that despite uh, I've got, uh, you know, quite a bit of uh, raw materials now sitting around not doing anything and see that the main bus is starting to buffer again. So that is what we're aiming to do. Hopefully I've um, explained it well. If I haven't, please ask in the comments and I'll attempt to redo it again. Until next time, thank you very much for joining me.